the deal was was for Joe and I to sort of bandy about ideas and come up with a plot line, and then if we liked it a lot, we could go for it. And we'd sign pay and play deal, pay and play deals, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. So Joe left to do something else. I can't remember what it was, but he, he left on off on another project. And uh, right in the middle of my me executing the screenplay. Remember that October Sky. It was before the but I, I, I can't remember. But Casey Silver then, who was then the president of production, I can't remember if he I can't remember what the hierarchy was at the right. time. He had read what I was doing with the Hulk and very much liked it and asked me if I wanted to direct it. And so I came on as the director and we went into pre-production. Casey then was fired and the whole regime at Universal was tossed out and a new regime came in and they did not look favorably upon the old regime's projects and it stalled. And, you know, I had another one of these executive shift nightmares right. it's, it's kind of hard to deal with because it's so out of your control it's you know one minute uh, you're, you're writing for one set of notes and the next minute the whole regime is gone and you know it, it seems like it, it happens more and more lately but it is happening more and more and i don't think it's clearly it's not good for hollywood and it's it's uh there's, there's nothing to be said it's just a regrettable part of my career and it's you know hopefully it won't happen Big arms and prop arms and we we'll put Eric with green makeup and he looked like the man on the of the okay. <laughs> Eventually I decided oh, CG is the way to go. Well I just give my demands and I will throw them out on storyboard with the storyboard artist. Um, and then we will cut the scenes without hope.